that's not really all the way down. It's easier to it's easier to see things. You can actually walk around the JC part. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You said I can walk around the JC. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been since you drove a robot, Paul? <laughs> yeah. Keep it frustrating, yeah. I think so. I to say how friendly veterans are. We think you also use it to say how um, to say how, um, how they're reaching out to feel like they want to feel relatable, you know? Yeah. Is there a way to adjust the sensitivity of the joystick? Having fun, Chris? When I'm trying it, it's real slow and all of a sudden it's real slow. You can adjust the sensitivity. Oh, I feel like a creepy dad at a baseball game or something. That's my dad. We do not. Um, the only challenge was the alpha. Oh. Baby. Can I actually film this whole thing? Yeah, just film everything. Wait, do we have a lot of time? <laughs> I wonder how much battery life is in um, There's a battery and it's at full strength. I assume okay, you cool. charged it. Hmm? Fortunately, it says it's 1.41 p.m. and that's an hour and 20 minutes off the time. <laughs> that's okay. That's not that important. <laughs> this is so much easier than an iPhone. <laughs> I want to film that. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Oh, that. Don't lose oh my gosh, look at him put that thing on. That thing looks so heavy. I think you got to need two hands for that. Oh, I was thinking about doing that, but I didn't want to like fuck it over. Getting a drink? We're having a cup. Bridget, can we move? I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. Can you get it? They should put him on the NTC website. Yeah, the name of the game is not the best. Is it really heavy? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It gets, it gets heavier. Do you want the helmet on for a bit? Yeah. Is it hot? The helmet is sweaty, but it's like... Yeah, it's hot in the helmet. Uh, there's like a little fan in there, but the fan isn't like for your comfort. The fan is actually to keep the, the visor from fogging up. Uh, okay. um, but it's, it's interesting because it's like you're, like you're in your own little world in there, and it actually has a microphone in there, so it amplifies like the sound around. So like when you're walking around, you can hear like all the conversations and stuff. And it also comes in handy when you're like actually walking down on something. You're supposed to like when you do is you turn the fan down and you actually listen to the device and you see if it's like making any noises because if it's ticking like the stereo's gonna tick then like it can mean like you have to do something immediately right down there. And that's a whole different thing. Oh wow. Different thing. You got that helmet. Okay, cool. Did you get that? Did you get any same? I wasn't recording him. Why did you get that? Because we didn't make up sonic consent for him yet. Well we were gonna get him anyways. Eventually. It's like our little space monkey. What the team member was doing? Oh, the guy from the Super Bowl. You guys work in two man teams? Two man teams in the Yeah. We should interview Chris after this. Let's see what he said. <laughs> I told you, it's not finesse. Good God. Um, and if you want to see what it's like here. Can he eat here? Sorry. It's okay. Dude. Navigational. I think so, yeah. And then, and then if you want, you can just 
just like walk down there and set it up. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is a foot wider than he's used to. Oh. Oh. That takes them to two legs. Oh. Can I take the Can I take the Yeah, yeah. You take those things out and just throw them out. Let's move over here so we can see the front. Actually, walk, walk backwards from there because that's where you have the most protection. It's in the front. And when you're crawling up away from it, then you're yeah. around. That's brutal. I can imagine doing this for that not to Yeah. So when they're talking and he like laughs or something, so then when we do the voiceover, you know what I'm saying? We can just have that shot. Yeah. So that helmet has a How'd that feel? We're actually working on a. Uh, you can't move. We're actually going to interview you <laughs> next. <laughs> Was it really heavy? It's heavy, but the, like you have no motion. Like you can't move. You're like, you're like that kid in uh, Christmas. Story. Yeah, Christmas story is like, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, your dexterity is really limited in a suit, which is why sometimes uh, it's better to go down without a suit. Like for example, if you're expecting like movie traps or something, something where you would actually need to be really aware of your surroundings. Is an example of what you need for a suit. But in general, like on the state side, you have a suit. Wow. We get closer. I don't know if we'll be able to hear. Uh, when you're deployed, you're supposed to wear it. On, well, you're supposed to do an armored first approach to it, whether that be like in your vehicle or in the suit. Right. Um, in general, it just got into the Not good practice to wear it all the time overseas, because like when you're in there, um, you really can't shoot back and you really can't move. Uh, so oftentimes. You'll do your first initial approach with your vehicle, or you'll clear the route somehow so you don't have to wear it. Um, although that's not a very like, acceptable thing to say, but it uh, reflects the reality of the situation. Yeah, like the EOD, EOD guys I work with, they're all, I don't think I ever saw suit come out. You know, they're all just like two, three man teams that came out with the, right. like the company size sort of you know, yeah. operations. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you're overseas, I mean, it just doesn't really make sense for you. Yeah. 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 You gonna try Bridget? What? Yeah, she give a shot. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that works. Do you